Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Fallen Ford Financial. Uh, just an article that I found here on uh, batteries I thought was uh, kind of interesting. Uh, batteries are what will spark the electrical uh, EV sales, and I think we all kind of know that. That's pretty much common sense. And automakers are uh, buying in. This just uh, came out yesterday. I uh, just did a video on uh, Ride, R-I-D-E, or Lordstown Motors, and uh, stocks kind of... Uh, went down the crapper if you will I guess here lately but um, still holding my shares and um, by the time this video is released you should be able to find uh, Ride or Lordstown Motors in uh, my library today uh, it's just going to be released here soon uh, but this article is all about batteries and was dated yesterday and that was kind of interesting uh, some of you out there might already have some of this information uh, but I just thought I'd throw this out there so uh, Ford is the latest to surprise investors and analysts with an announcement. Uh, Ford and uh, SK Innovation are forming a partnership to make batteries that can produce enough cells annually to make hundreds of thousands of EVs a year by mid-decade. And the number of batteries can be quadrupled by 2030. And... Everybody that follows EVs probably already knows that I think California, and I just heard Washington, uh, by the year uh, 2030, there's going to be no more ICE uh, vehicles sold there, the internal uh, combustion, so it's all going to be EVs, and um, it's just going to be uh, ramping up EV sales between now and uh, 2030 is just how I look at it, it's not too uh, far off, so... Uh, with the higher capacity EVs, that uh, would likely be more than 50% of Ford total sales, an aggressive goal, but uh, not unusual in the auto industry. GM has laid out plans to launch 30 new, all-new uh, vehicles uh, by 2025 that are electric and wants to be all-electric uh, company by 2035. Uh, Volkswagen, the world's largest automaker by unit volume, wants all electric vehicles um, to make up more than 50 percent of sales by 2030 and so they all got kind of the uh, came same concept uh, which is smart to uh, go total towards total EV um, and they don't factor in what Tesla is churning out EV startups uh, such as Neo uh, which I've talked about Lordstown which I uh, just made a video like I said and uh, Fisker pretty much have all these, don't have any uh, Volkswagen, don't have any Fisker, uh, but if you have any of these, go ahead and list in the uh, comments, that would be interesting to know as well. Uh, but more EVs uh, take more batteries, and that is the challenge for the automakers. Uh, utilities, for example, will want lithium-ion batteries too, as an intermittent re renewable power generation uh, takes a larger share of the electricity pie. Uh, batteries essentially store the wind or sun, enabling renewable generation to become part of the uh, baseload generating capacity. And that's why automakers are forming joint ventures or JVs, uh, which continue to see uh, JVs and partnerships between automakers and battery companies. And uh, NEO has their uh, battery swapping stations, uh, which I feel is kind of interesting. I've uh, covered uh, Neo a couple times. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, read over the rest here for yourself. Um, Tesla set an example. The EV Pioneer has a JV with uh, Panasonic and uh, Japan and to offtake agreement with uh, Piedmont Lithium, uh, which I just did a video about them as well. Uh, Piedmont Lithium PLL. I've covered uh, quite a few uh, lithium uh, plays here on the channel. An offtake agreement uh, which helps new miners finance projects. Piedmont stock rose 236% the uh, day Tesla deal was announced, uh, but most of the stock implications from the EV transition are longer term. And here's kind of some analysts pointed out that the uh, battery capacity costs about 100 million a gigawatt hour, a gigawatt hour of battery capacity can make enough batteries for very roughly 10,000 to 20,000 electric vehicles depending on the size of the battery pack in each vehicle.
These are rules of the thumb that investors can use to put automaker estimates into context. And this kind of goes over uh, Volkswagen planning their 240 gigawatt hour battery capacity. Uh, like I said, I don't have any Volkswagen. I believe that trades over the counter. It's a 20 or 30 dollar stock last time I looked at it. Uh, Ford, I have, uh, for its part, has committed to about uh, 15 billion in EV related spending between 2021 and 2025. The company has been generating about 20 billion in cash from operations annually in recent years and spends about 6 billion a year on plants and equipment. Uh, GM, Ford, and Volkswagen shares are up about 40% year-to-date on average, uh, better than comparable gains of the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average. Tesla stock, on the other hand, is down about 15% year-to-date, possibly because EV competition is heating up. And so again, uh, competition's good. Um, I have kind of... Uh, stuck the big toe into each one of them or just the tip if you will um, so I have uh, like I said Neo uh, Ride, Lordstown Motors uh, Liato, Xping Tesla have them all so uh, some people are just strictly Tesla, strictly Neo uh, list your favorite uh, EV in the uh, comments that would be interesting to know as well and if you have any uh, other comments or any other EVs you want me to cover uh, like I said, I covered lithium, uh, some of the uh, picks and shovels plays uh, in regards to uh, EVs, and uh, plug and uh, fuel cell, and I've covered all of those, so you can find all those in the uh, library. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. That would really help out the channel and uh, get the videos out to some other people and hit that bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.